How did the Badger story start? Well, I had a day off, which in this job means that you get called in. I got a phone call from Simon to send myself and my husband Sean out to pick up a badger that had supposedly been hit by a car. When we got there, she was conscious, but she was so easy to pick up. She wasn't fighting back like a badger should. Okay, it's a lactating female. She had milk. That was a really, really big worry. The clock was already ticking to get her back out as quickly as we could because of the cubs. If we can't leave her, we have to take her in. She's completely collapsed. When we examined her on the table, we noticed that she had a little graze under her chin. The only injury that she had, in fact. So we, we really th assumed that it was a head injury and it was indeed a car accident. Accident. With just that little graze, we would still want to get her back as quickly as possible because of the cubs, but she was just too sleepy, too out of it, so we had to keep her in. So whenever we have a badger in and we need to know where she's from, we speak to the badger groups, and it turned out that Peter Eggleton lives really close by and he knew exactly where the sets were, and so he was going there regularly putting food out to make sure that if there were any cubs they weren't going without food at that time. Everyone on Facebook was following her story and and people were donating and trying to help support her to get her back to her babies as quick as we could. We'd had her in for two weeks and in that time we were syringe feeding her, trying to build her strength up. Eventually we had to make a decision that we just had to go for the release. We just had to, to try and get her back to the cubs for the sake of them and for her. Here we are then, this is the uh the point where the badger was picked up. Peter said that as he was carrying her along, he saw her stand up in the box and get excited about being able to be released, so he knew that they were in the right place. Right then, would you like to go? It was lovely to watch the footage of it because she comes out of the box and you can see that she knew exactly where she was. Oh, we're out. Look at that, straight down the path and straight to the entrance of the set. It's absolutely brilliant that everybody donated for this badger and everybody supported us to help her and now she's back with her baby, so it's a really happy ending. If you want to help with one of our future patients, follow us on YouTube or like us on Facebook. We're also on Twitter and you can help get another patient back to the wild.